it's a tool to get Windows desktop applications showing in your VR space or your flight simulator. Hi, fellow flight simmers. I hope you guys are doing great. Hey, listen, I have something that I would like to share with you. It's a new mod for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm probably going to call it FS Desktop, and I hope this gives you already kind of an idea what this um, extension is going to be. I think it's going to be pretty cool. I think I might have something here that many of you are looking for. Um, it's still an early prototype, so it doesn't support all the features that you might be looking for. But let me show you what I've got. So over here in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I would like to open my toolbar. And you can see that this um, little mod here has the same logo as FSD board. That's just because, you know, it's a prototype. And uh, when I open it, you see uh, this screen here. And as you can see, it's called FS Desktop. You can select a variety of windows here. So this is my OBS, the software I'm currently using to record this very video. Um, and I have opened uh, quite a few um, um, applications on my computer that I can now bring into Flight Simulator. Let me show you, let me show you what I mean. For example, we have vPilot here. If I click it, it brings me to this screen here. And as you can see, it's basically a representation of the um, Windows window um, inside Flight Simulator. So this is a Flight Simulator panel, and um, I'm currently running Flight Simulator in 2D mode. But imagine this was in VR. I would have a separate panel, similar to FS Newport, with, um, well, a desktop window inside Flight Simulator. I know that you can bring windows into your VR space um, via Windows Mixed Reality, for example, but it's kind of tough to interact with them and so on. And, and this is the thing that's actually missing here. So I can, for the time being, I cannot click anything here. Um, I would have to move my mouse over to the um, corresponding window and you can see that uh, my mouse is moving over here. You can also see that there is a um, refresh rate selector over here that I can use, for example, to slow the refresh rate down which will in return result in a better flight simulator frame rate. Because if you put it too fast and you have a huge screen up and running, then um, it will impact your frame rate. And yeah, you, you would see um, um, uh, controllers in range, etc. update as your VATSIM panel here or vPilot panel over here updates. Uh, we could also pick another uh, panel over here. For example, let's take the um, brawler window that I have here and um, let's see let's start this video again I have to click into the actual video right now I cannot interact with it over here that's something I'm planning to implement um, though I have to put some research into it and see how this goes but for now it's a one-way um, well it's a one-way tool to get Windows uh, desktop applications showing in your VR space or your flight simulator. So if we run this video here, for example, you can see that right now it's up, updating uh, with the, in the fast mode, so to speak. It runs at 10 frames per second, but I think it's a pretty, pretty good experience. So you could use it to, for example, uh, watch your favorite streamer while in VR or watch a tutorial video. Um, Whatever you deem fit, you can move or basically pull any window into your flight simulator experience. I think that's pretty cool. Um, great, so we have a video, for example. Um, let's, let's pause this. Um, or what, what else have we got? Oh yeah, we have, a, um, uh, we have charts over here from uh, vfrmap.com. So that's something uh, VFR maps uh, is currently not supported by FS Newborn uh, because they don't provide a public API, I believe. So you could just, you know, pull up a chart in your browser and then, um, well, pull it into your, um, your VR space and your cockpit, basically. Um, or if you're a streamer, maybe, you could pull your, your chat um, window into your flight simulator panel and into your VR session and then follow your chat without um, you know having to mess around with um, with uh, Windows Mixed Reality or so. 
So uh, yeah, that's just a, a, a simple selection of use cases um, that you might be able to use this mod for. Um, I'm really curious to learn um, what you think about it, so please let me know, comment um, and, and, and let me know how you like it and what you think. What is missing, again, obviously it's a one-way tool right now. It currently lacks a way to basically control the window that you are looking at without, you know, moving the mouse around and then going to that separate panel, like I'll tapping out of your flight simulator, um, etc. But that's something I don't want to see in the future. So, um, yeah, you could even bring in your entire desktop. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Um, and you see the frame rate drop right now. So that's, yeah, that's um, the downside. Again, it's an early prototype, but it does in fact work and um, I think it's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty proud um, uh, to see this, well, at least working, because uh, working with the limitations of the uh, flight simulator in-game browser really takes some tough engineering. Um, yeah, again, let me know what you think. Um, that's it for now. I'm out, um, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.